We will be using Second Life to teach IT students how PCs are put together, how the components are placed inside the PC, and how those components work together. Here we see the microprocessor. There are multiple fans within a PC to prevent overheating. Here we see the power supply as well as the drive bays. One of the main components, known as the motherboard, is depicted here. The computer's optical drive is also shown. In our Second Life project, we will construct these as well as numerous other components of a computer to provide a rich learning experience. For our project, we will be looking at the components of a computer and how it all fits together. We aim to create a 3D model of a computer tower with interactive parts allowing students to enter the actual tower and view things like the motherboard, the CPU, etc. We will also have a formal area where pure information will be provided via slides. Our target audience for our project would be high school IT students that are currently learning about the hardware of a PC. The learner will be able to question the placing of specific components. When questioning why an object is in that specific place, they are able to click on the object and an explanation will be provided. I am so confused. There are so many components for this machine. Oh wait. Since this is second life, I can just click on something. This will give me the explanation I need. I am the power supply for this machine. The learner will be able to see different types of cables that are used in the PC such as power cables, front panel connector cables and IDE cables. Learners will be able to make notes during their experience by using the note card option in Second Life. This will help them remember what they have learned. After engaging with a virtual representation of computer components, I find that I have a much better understanding. I just do not want to forget what I learned. Luckily, Second Life grants me the ability to take notes. How great is that? Learners should be able to understand how the PC components function together by the end of their experience. They should be able to understand how the components interact to complete tasks. Yes, I can't believe it. I finally understand how all of this works. I know that the motherboard for our main system is in here, and the components that interact to render this display I also know that the cooling unit is right over here. Damn, I'm good. Learners will be able to view slides which will contain information about the components of the PC. Second Life has an immersive 3D environment where learners have a great deal of freedom. Learners are able to interact with the environment in ways that can be difficult to manage if there were a large group to teach. Therefore Second Life makes it easier for us to teach our concepts about the inner components of a computer to large groups or multiple students concurrently. Second Life provides opportunities for rich sensory immersive experiences and activities for experiential learning, simulation and modeling of complex scenarios. This is something that cannot easily be achieved by using other platforms. We aim to leverage these features to provide a useful learning experience. Features such as Immersive exhibits learners can engage in, experience and respond to information in context allowing for a deeper understanding of the situation. Simulations Learners can undertake simulations, exploring situations that they could not undertake safely or easily in the real world, like entering a computer, or the simulation of an internal view of some computer process. 3D animated objects and gestures Avatars can interact with objects when clicked. Objects reveal additional information such as the inside workings of computer components. Presentations and discussions, informal discussion areas, such as tables in a garden to a tiki bar on the beach, encourage conversations between avatars for informal learning and knowledge sharing. Students can visit simulations to learn about the inner workings of computers, from their structure to their functionality, and so on. Games and challenges will allow students to apply what they learn to identify computer components and engage them to connect these components correctly. In terms of navigation, Second Life makes it easy to teleport learners in and out of the PC model we have built to educate students on the components of a computer.
Once inside the PC model, learners can fly or walk to help them navigate around the 3D environment, allowing them access to all the components. Getting in here isn't going to be easy. Hold on a second. I forgot I can teleport. I can't believe it. So this is what it looks like inside a computer. Using the mouse to touch or click on a computer component brings up additional information about the component. This includes details of the component and how it interacts with the PC. We also make use of pop-ups which inform the learners on the specific part of the PC component when they want to know more about it. OK class come over here. Do any of you know what that is? No, I'm afraid not. Well what is it? I want one of you to touch it and find out. Let me do it. I am a computer chip. I am made from semiconducting material and contain an embedded and integrated circuit. I hope you all learned some valuable lessons today.